What's up everyone? I'm going to be doing a short review on these wire strippers and this soldering iron. Now I received the, this uh, wire stripper that goes from 10 gauge to 22 gauge, the soldering iron and the soldering iron tip cleaner all from Gearbest. This one's my own. I bought this. Uh, the helping hands is my own. I bought that. I mainly wanted to try because I have the soldering station right here but I wanted something more portable where I could just take it upstairs solder something real quick if I needed to or just throw this in my truck and go take it to work if I had to um, but the soldering station is is not really portable at all so that's that's the reason why I wanted the soldering stationing Gearbest has sent me one so I haven't opened this up yet. This will be a full test on it um, as I do a video. And so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So it does come with quite a bit and I do like that. So it comes with its soldering iron oh and the soldering iron is fully adjustable that's awesome uh, it comes with what appears to be picks screwdrivers and a whole assortment of of uh, tools brushes everything so that's that's really cool and that's actually going to be helpful with 3d printing stuff right here all right uh stand and a little sponge even uh comes with more tips and it's a variety pack of different type of tips comes with solder two percent flux Two sets of tweezers. Uh, missing a rubber piece for this one, but that's okay. But you have a curved tweezer and a straight tweezer. And what I like to call, and what we call at work, is a solder sucker. It basically it's spring loaded. You put it on hot solder and hit the button and it sucks all that solder out and it, it's kind of a it, well it's a desoldering tool so all right so let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works all right so this is a 110 volt 60 watt soldering iron fully adjustable so it's been about 30 seconds let's see if it's hot enough oh it's plenty hot enough all right sweet I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and let's go ahead and grab a proto board right here set this down so I have here just a little proto board that I can solder um, solder things to and we're just gonna do wires but first let's go ahead and grab a few different size wires and actually a bullet too. So this is a socket end of a bullet, um, bullet connectors. But uh, we'll go ahead and try to solder a 10 gauge into that. But let's see here. So this, these wire strippers are from 20 gauge to 30 gauge so this is for a lot smaller wires and I've actually been using these for a while now and I love these this type of uh, strippers right here so they are really smooth uh, let's see this is I think uh, 22 gauge so I could just pull it right off I also can just clip it right there and pull it off with my my thumb and it works so we can go ahead and grab our helping hands right here all right so 
I went ahead and turned down the soldering iron to 350 degrees Celsius. Um, I have my wire pre-soldered, but I'm going to go ahead and add solder to all these joints right here. Perfect. And it is working great. It's actually working really well. Almost better than my soldering station. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the smaller joints. Random spots. And it does pretty well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of my wire, and I'll just hold the wire and solder it to it. The wire is secured, and it's on there good. I can tug it really tight. And I'm actually pretty impressed with this little soldering iron. It's a lot easier to maneuver, because this, this only has, my soldering station only has a pretty short line. This one has a longer cord. So... Let's see what else we can do with this. Um, let's go ahead and grab some bigger wire. So these clippers right here range from 10 gauge to 22. This is the one that Gearbus has sent me. And let's go ahead and test these out. This is 10 gauge wire right here, thick insulation. So we'll go ahead and put it in 10 gauge clip. And it did just fine. It didn't take any of the extra wire. I don't see any extra wire, so that's good. So we're good right here. And what I can do with this now, we'll go ahead and put this on the side because that's just testing. I'm going to add one of these bullet connectors. Now, there's a hole right here, and that's where the solder will go. And the bullet can or the 10 gauge should go right on top which I'll have to clip some of the actual contact off which I could do that real quick right now so we clip some of the contact off and it sits in there perfect okay so that's what we want we have our wire in place so I could stick the soldering tip in there and then start sticking solder All right, let's test this out now. Make sure we have a good connection. Yeah, this thing's not going anywhere. Nice and tight. And so that was 10 gauge. And then we could put a little uh, heat shrink over this, make it look nice. Go ahead and just solder this for test. Solder real nice, grab our board, we can add it to one of the junctions. Very nice, it's not going anywhere. It's added to one of the joints. All right, so here's solid core wire. This is 20 gauge solid core wire. Um, however, it's really thin insulation, so I'm gonna use 22 gauge. That's that. Um, we can go ahead and clip it to that real quick and add a little bit of solder to it, clean my tip and add it to a joint. And it should be nice and strong, which it is. It's nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. So last thing I wanted to test is this solder sucker. And basically, like I said before, you press it down, it's spring-loaded. Press it 
press the button and it's going to suck the solder hot solder out so let's go ahead and get a closer look at this so i have all these blobs of solder right here all along here so i can go ahead and stick the solder sucker and we could desolder a big chunk of solder and as you can see it didn't take all of it but it did take a majority of it and again we'll go to this next one so we'll go to this one now heat it up and now it's pretty focus and now you can see it's pretty flat so it does work pretty well all right so my final thoughts on the soldering iron is first off i'm really impressed with how quick it heated up to the point where i needed it to solder one thing is that i think it does get hotter than what it is indicating on the uh, scale right here because I normally on my soldering station solder at 450 degrees Celsius unless my soldering station is wrong I'm not sure and it won't melt through parts like this one did um, but it could be my soldering station that's wrong as well so I don't know so putting this at 300 degrees Celsius seems to be a good spot to solder at 300 to 350 degrees Celsius the stand I don't care for this little stand I'll probably actually get me a different uh, soldering stand um, it's actually nice fits in your hand pretty well has nice little rubber grip right here so that is really nice um, I like how you can change the tips have a variety of different type of tips which most soldering irons give you that uh, give you that option anyways I do like this kit because it does come with all these variety of different picks and brushes um, tweezers these tweezers are really nice I use these at my work all the time for small components but yeah I, I really like these type of tweezers they're pretty uh, pretty strong tweezers and durable the solder sucker it works if you need to desolder I don't know if it's really called the solder sucker but that's what I call it um, but yeah it comes in a nice little bag makes it portable I do like that feature I do recommend I would recommend this the soldering iron now for these wire strippers I do recommend these pros kit um, wire strippers I do like these a lot they're nice smooth they cut really easy this one it works but it's just it doesn't seem very smooth um, it doesn't cut as smooth so they're okay but they're not the best but for the price I would say they're good all right, so I think that concludes this video, and I think you will be seeing this iron uh, in more of my videos. Uh, I'm really impressed with this this iron in itself. Impressed with the kit that everything comes with. It is a good beginner kit. I would re recommend it to any of my buddies if they're uh, wanting to get into soldering. Um, it's even good for advanced users as well. If you want to get any more information on any of these products i will leave the links down in the description below and so yeah as always thank you for watching and thank you for your support